Hey guys, thanks for watching. It is time for the mid-year check-in on science. Um, I'm going to go through and tell you what we started with, what we're still using, and what I anticipate for the next year, because I'm thinking about that already. And I'm going to start with my son, his biology. So we'll start with biology, and then I'll tell you about my daughter who's in sixth grade. So here we go. I hope you enjoy. All right, so for biology for my son, we um, have been following A Gentle Feast, her plans for ninth grade biology, and I'm going to show you kind of what a week of it looks like. We're in the middle of the year. So she gives you different options, and it's like a Charlotte Mason like based plan. Um, so she basically gives you lesson plans and recommended resources, and there's like three different core components that you're using for biology. So, um, I'll show you. So here's like her schedule and you can see like there's week 19. So day one, you're going to do, you're doing it three times a week for biology. And the first day you're going to do a, a Sabbath mood biology lesson. For day two, you have an option of either a Khan Academy lecture or you can use the, um, biology 101 DVDs. She has plans for both. And then um, day three, you're going to work through the book Microbe Hunters. Um, so that's how it works. And I hope that's not backwards. It might be. Sorry. Anyway, that's how her plans work. Um, and we started off using the Biology 101 DVDs. Did not like them at all. Um, saw them back on eBay. I mean, like two weeks in. I didn't like them. Isaac, my son didn't like them. Um, they just, to me, had like... They seemed a little, not cheap, but kind of like cheap. Like they just cheesy and not good. We didn't like them. So um, like a week in, we started doing the Khan Academy biology lectures instead. And they're totally free. And I think way better. And in fact, by the time you get to week 19, I don't even think you can use the biology one DVD. So they only take you like half the year. So if you're going to follow her the A Gentle Feast biology schedule, I would recommend skipping the Biology 101 DVDs and just doing the free Khan Academy lectures. They have been great. So basically on day one, we use this, I'll show you, it's called Sabbath Mood Homeschool. She has, um, it was cheap, like $15. They're called Living Science Study Guides. This is what it looks like. And, um, she recommends this for one day a week you do this and you just, it tells you exactly what lesson you're going to do, like in a gentle feast, um, in her curriculum, like that she puts out for your, the lesson plans. So we do one of these a week. They're hands on. They're not hard. They're super fun. Um, and you are working through a book, a living book, men, microscope and living things is the book we'll be working through with this that we have been and he loves it he does the lesson and then usually gives me a short narration on what he read and the lessons are really creative there's um you get you can get the printed version you can also just do the pdf and the pdf does have like active working links so there's going to be a lot of lessons where you can click into like lesson 27 you can click here you know if you have the pdf and it takes you to somewhere on the web to read. Really good, highly recommend. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so this is day one, and then for day two, like I told you, we're doing the Khan Academy um, lectures for biology, and then day three, she also has planned out for you, you're working through this book, Microbe Hunters, just reading like a chapter or, or like a section, and then he will write me a narration for that. So that's pretty simple. I mean, every week you're doing a lesson in this, a con lecture that you're watching online, and then um, a chapter in this with an aeration. So that's how, it's so simple, right? She does have alternate optional like botany studies that you could do one day a week. Um, we haven't done them and we're not going to. They seem fine, but this is enough. So... That's what we're doing for him, um, for biology. Love it. Um, for next year, I can already tell you, like, the one thing, I guess my only 
caveat for this is they are like you're pulling from like three different sources so um for some kids if your kid just likes to do the same thing every day that might would be tough for them um and even as a parent like like going through and planning it you know, you're pulling like multiple things which can be great or it can get a little old i can tell you that i've decided for next year um the sabbath mood homeschool she has chemistry um and we've loved this so much that we're just gonna do it for chemistry next year basically um there's so many options on how you can use these so there's like three different like three books for the biology there's three books for chemistry and there's three i think for physics and so if you're going to follow like a strictly charlotte mason inspired science you would do like one term, one 12 weeks of biology, one 12 weeks of chemistry, and then one 12 weeks of like physics every year. And then you would, you know, by the end of three years, you'd have all your credits for science. Um, but my kid likes to do mastery approach and she does have, like I said, three, um, three of these for biology, chemistry, and physics. So next year, we're just gonna go one, two, three, all three of the physics, living science study guide and that's going to be what we use i'm pretty sure for chemistry next year and she also has like schedules like she gives you options um this lady the sabbath mood homeschool and lots of different ways you could change it and i love that it's very flexible because a lot of people that do like charlotte mason methods like to do it differently and so she kind of just has like all these different ways that you can do it to get your science. But this is for sure in his favorite. He's really like the Khan Academy um, lectures. And so I could see us like incorporating those a little bit next year because they do have chemistry. And I'm sure it's great. But I'm pretty sure we're just going to go with the Living Science Study Guide from Sabbath Mood Homeschool. So I hope that's helpful. Um, if you have questions feel free to ask me but again a gentle feast the way she did it it's great um you are just buying you know you're getting just different resources you are you know having to get more stuff i guess in a way but love it love how she has it all planned out for you i mean this has probably been our favorite science for my son um for my daughter not so much but for him love 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 highly recommend either way you want to do it so if you have questions ask them and i'll try to link the sabbath mood homeschool um, guide and the other two books if anybody wants to look at them oh and one other thing that we've been using and i know you can get this off of thrift books is the usborn complete book of the microscope and we just use this for fun just to flip through it and you can find this on thrift books, I'm sure. But it goes through and shows you, like, if you don't have a microscope, which we do have one, but sometimes it's just really easy to, you know. This already has all the pictures for you of a lot of different things. It's really cool. Um, so that is the Usborne Complete Book of the Microscope. So we've been using that, too, and loving it. So next up, I'll tell you about my daughter's science. Okay, for my daughter who's in sixth grade, um, we started off the year following the A Gentle Feast recommended resources for her science. And um, we had a lot of misses just that she just didn't enjoy. And for that age, I feel like we, we can still enjoy science. I mean, you can enjoy science forever. But if you don't like the book and if I think the book is boring, like I'm not going to make you suffer through it. So she started out with... Um, Amazing Inventions of Leonardo da Vinci, and we did get through it, and she did enjoy, like, most of it. I feel like some of the inventions didn't really, they were just kind of, mm, not our favorite. But she did learn some stuff about him. I would show you the book. We've already sold it, so we don't have it. But that was her first book that she worked through. And then The New Way Things Work by David McCauley. I also have already gotten rid of that one. We didn't like that one at all. Um, it was boring in my opinion even like when I would try to read some of the things I didn't understand it but it did like if you have a kid who's really into gears and the mechanics of stuff like how engines work and all of that um, they would probably really like it but it was not anything that my daughter liked and in fact when I would try to get her to give me like a narration like she couldn't give me one and 
I would read it and I'd be like, Ugh, I couldn't get one either. So <laughs> we got rid of that book. So we've been kind of like piece piecemealing our stuff for science this year, just to be honest. Um, I'll tell you um, the two books that were from A Gentle Feast that she's loved. Um, this, this one, Along Came Galileo, she's working through it now. I just have her do a chapter a week. Um, like one day a week, she reads a chapter and gives me a narration. She likes it. It's really cute. Um, it's not hard. It's simple. It's really easy. And it has like a few little pictures and stuff. She liked it. And she'll tell me neat little stories. So liking that one. And another one that we really like that I'm sort of surprised is this one. We're probably going to order another one. Um, Christian Liberty Nature Reader. This is book four. Um, which... I don't know why I thought it would be boring, but it's not. It's so cool. It tells you about lots of different animals. Like I'll show you a little bit in the um, table of contents. If you have a kid that loves animals and wants to know about animal facts, oh, it's so good. And it has like, I'll show you, lots of cute pictures. Um, it goes through all the different kinds of perching birds. And then it goes through, um, let's see what else, like doo -doo -doo -doo. birds of prey, goes through all the birds of prey, um, there's lots of and owls, and each one of these books, I guess, goes through different types of animals, insects, um, she's almost done with this, so I need to order another one, but this is the only one we've ever done. I want to show you it does a lot about snakes. She's been really into it. Sorry if you're scared of snakes. I mean lots of different snakes and she really thinks that snakes are so cool. And there's pictures and there's questions so if you have a kid that doesn't like to write narrations they could just answer a couple questions if you want them to. See how cute? And um, she usually draws a picture of the animal and then tells me like three things she learned about it. But love highly recommend every week she loves doing this so one day a week she's been doing that Galileo one day a week she does Christian Liberty nature reader and then one day a week she's been doing like a study of like space and we have this book that we was recommended from a gentle feast that we don't like I'm just being honest signs and seasons sorry if you love it that's great <laughs> we just don't like it um I'll show you it's all in black and white. The pictures look like clip art, in my opinion. It's just not good. It was like $30. It was not cheap. And it's, to me, it's boring. So, it's just not good at all. Poor kid. So, I told her she has to wait because we ordered something else. So, she's working through this until something else comes. So, can't really recommend it. Don't think it's worth the money. Don't like it. But we're using it for now. So I'm going to show you what we're getting ready to move into. Um, I'm just waiting. For she, I ordered her two readers to go with it. But we got the, and you can get this for free. Ooh, I think you can still get it for free. It, as of today, it's February 2nd. I think you can still get the PDF for free um, up until like the 7th, I think. Go look. Um, the Good and the Beautiful Space Science Unit. Um you can get the PDF for free, again, like I said, as this video goes live, and only for a few days. Um, but <clears throat> I'll show you. I haven't printed the whole thing. I downloaded it. But um, table of contents, and it's got lots of neat lessons. I might try to pull the camera down and show you. But I like the, that she tells you all the supplies you need, and then um, the different lessons. So it gives you, like, vocabulary and you can cut these out, put them up on the wall, whatever. Super cute. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna show you. Then it has like the planets and then the cards you can cut out so your kid can learn what the planets look like. So cute. Then there's big versions. And here's some more. You can see it's got lots of pictures. You need a good printer if you're going to print this out. Um, otherwise, you probably want to just spend the money and order it. But um, I'll show you like the first lesson. Um, and it's kind of scripted, as you can see. You're, if you have an older kid, they could probably read it. 
but it gives you like a little bit of like a Bible passage and like for lesson one you just need a Milky Way bar, some dice, and the planet cards and um, it walks you through um, like going through the vocabulary words and it really just tells you everything to do. They need a little science journal and you're teaching them about the galaxy. Um, <clears throat> it's really cute and this one goes through the facts of the Milky Way. So what I like about it is it's colorful and it's fun and it has lots of really beautiful pictures. I'll show you a couple more where it talks about like God's design even in the int intricacies of the universe and all the things that he made and just the detail that he puts into everything. So I like that it kind of points to God um, but without it being like I don't know sometimes I feel like things can get like really preachy to your kid and I really want to like not to indoctrinate but to teach my kids like I want to teach them I don't really necessarily want someone else telling them everything that they should believe um, so I really like the way a good the good and the beautiful kind of approaches science um, I feel like it doesn't have like a fundamentalist feel but it's just like look how awesome God is that he does all these things um, and then it, it does have lesson extensions for grades 7 through 8, um, <clears throat> which we won't use this year. But if you have older kids, to, to give it a little more um, in-depth. Um, lesson 2 is going to be about discovering stars. Here it is. Teaching them about the speed of light. And it has the script, again, distance from the sun. Um, teaching about what the stars are and how far away different planets are and stars, how they were formed, the brightness of them. It has links to videos to watch. Um, a video called Telescopes teaches about the different kinds of telescopes. And it even gives you prompting questions to discuss. Um, so, so good. And there's more. But, and pictures of like different telescopes. Um, so yeah, look, so cool. So this is what we're going to be moving into. I'll put a link. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. Look, but I'm telling you, it's really cute. And it had like optional, um, readers, two optional readers. If you have an older kid, it had a third one that you could buy that was about Galileo. But since we already have a book on Galileo, we didn't buy it. Um, but the other two readers were really cute. I think it was like $20 to order the readers. And you don't have to have them. They were just like, you know, a supplemental. But it has really beautiful pictures of stars and galaxies. Supernovas. Um, lesson three is about constellations. And it has a fun project that you make constellations with marshmallows and toothpicks. So cute. And um, it teaches them all about the different constellations. So I think you can kind of see like the difference between this one and um, the signs and seasons being just more black and white, you know, basic, um, not as exciting. So that is what we're going to do for the rest of her science for this year. We're going to go through the space science. And then if we want to, um, I may go back and look what the um a gentle feast recommends for like the last um term but we'll see if we like this good and the beautiful we'll probably just grab another one of their science units let me know if you like the good and the beautiful science units what's your favorite one especially if you have a middle schooler i'd love to know i've really struggled to find like good um fun science curriculum uh, especially for like that age. I feel like we tried master books last year and didn't like it at all. Um, I just felt like it wasn't fun and it was just like not, I don't like like just worksheets and stuff. So if you have one you recommend, I'd love to hear it. And um, that's what's going on in science for us. Let me know. I'd love to hear anything you use that you love. If you have a kid in chemistry, um, a high schooler, I'd love to know what you loved for them and um, in any in any middle school science that you've loved. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great week.